we're here at uh, Joe's mom and dad's place and we're um, washing all of her dishes that she has in her special, um, how would you call it? We would China say hutch. shang. China, a China, China hutch. Yeah, China hutch. And she has a ton, a ton of dishes. So we are washing them all up and putting them back in her China cabinet. Okay, so I know you don't typically wear a tool belt over your shoulder, right? But I'll tell you a little bit what we're doing tonight. So you see all the cars parked here. And this is my parents' place. So in April, uh, let's see now, February 21st of this year, uh, we had uh, a house fire at this place here. And my parents were awoken early in the morning by one of our employees that was coming to work. They pounded on the door, said their house is on fire. And at that time we had a chimney coming up right up there on top and it had caught fire around the chimney and the whole ceiling was burning. Now, thankfully they were okay. They were quite dazed and stunned, but we got them out of the house. Let's see, I was up at 4.30 and I built a fire. It was almost out. And I sat down and read a while and then I said, oh, it's really burning fast. So I, I, I quickly, uh, shut it down yeah and i put some more wood in and went to bed at okay six, at 6 30 went to bed okay and at about uh two hours later or so, hour later or so about i don't know eight o'clock or so i heard some bang and i thought what was that we're up close there okay and so i was late there and wonder what that was and then some knocked on the door then i said hang on i'll bring you right there they knocked really hard. I thought, I'm coming! So, I read that your house on fire. <laughs> and, uh, they showed me it was burned. The flames are two feet high. And there's a big hole burned this big around. And the wow. flame is just shooting up there. I thought it's all over. It's all the way. We get out of the house. We get the house on fire. I say, with all the guys here, we can just tear it down and... and Start another one by evening. We have another house up, a brand new one. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> okay. And they're starting to tear it down right now. They got the rich cap off, so they're starting to tear it down. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll keep going. Yeah. Only recently, about a week or so ago, did we move them back into the house. And tonight we're having all my siblings that live here, as well as uh, a lot of the nieces and nephews are here. And we're just helping them settle in with the final details. And uh, we moved them in, but we're going through moms. You'll see the ladies in there right now. There's my sister in the blue. Uh, what she's doing is they're washing all of mom's... Uh, like these are dishes that came from uh, her uh, wedding type of thing. And so this is something that a lot of Amish ladies have are dishes uh, in a special place that they use for their wedding that were maybe given to them as a gift from their grandmother or something. So they don't, they don't know I'm out here. Avalon. So we're putting it, trying to get to get it all back in here, but there's so much. So this apple blossom set dates back to when uh, Dad got married to Mom. His mother gave him this apple blossom, which is a very old, old. So it would be 60 plus years ago. Uh, he got that, and then. This gold rim set up here was, um, they used it at, on their bridal table at their wedding back in 19, January 17th of 1957, they got married. So these are some very, very old pieces. We're trying to fit it all back in. There's little Lauren. Uh, but we completely redid this. This was a, look very differently out here. Uh, this uh, 
these windows, there were like seven windows along the front. We put four windows in and we did some landscaping up front here. We're still cleaning up uh, around here. Hi, Hi Avalon. Um, these were some shrubs that I planted. I lived in this house from 1992 until uh, I got married. So in 2004, I lived in this house. I don't know however long that is, from 12 years old until 24. 12 years I lived in this house. So this is uh, this house is home. But yeah, we did some landscaping here so they could drive right up and mom and dad could go in the level of the house right here. So we're gonna go in and I'll show you around a little bit. And like I said, we're still moving them in so they're still kind of things stacked around here, but there's some of the nephews doing something. We'll have to go and see what they're up to. Here we're inside and you can see there's a lot of people here by all these coats. Um, where were you, babe? Hi, babe. <laughs> so I think I'm probably one of the last ones here. So I'll have to show you around. This is a brand new fireplace that we put in for them in this corner. The new hearth, a new set of stairs. You're fine, Rebecca. Going up to the upstairs. Oh, there's mom. Hi, mom. How are you doing tonight? Not too bad. All right, there's mom. She actually uh, broke her uh, neck. Uh, you broke a bone in your neck. You broke a bone in your neck when you fell recently. So mom's been recovering from that. So she's getting better now. That's good. We put a new kitchen in for them. There's still a few items missing, a microwave. Oh, so hot in And, uh, yeah. Looks a little bit different. What are you kiddos doing in here? You have a little slime in the what were you doing? Spying on mom <laughs> and on your aunt? Hi. <laughs> Can fun, have a buddy? Yeah. What are you guys doing up here? Oh, uh, just checking, checking out. Checking out the cool <laughs> job that just, somebody did. Pretty nice around here. Very nice. Oh, look at this. Jonathan, are you ready for something else? Are you good? Oh, this is plenty big. Oh, hi, Chloe. No, it's fine. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Found video doing that? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's just trash. Hey Nate. Hi. This is my nephew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go upstairs and check out the upstairs a little bit more. These were our custom timber frame stairs that we built for them, and these are log railing that we built. Hey, Nathaniel. Hey, buddy. Hi. That's my great. That's my great nephew right there. He's scared to go down the steps there. I think it's my great nephew. 
And this is my original room that I lived in for about eight of my 12 years. This is one of the original oil or propane lamps that this was my only light in the room right here. But all we would do is take this and, and open it and take a, a lighter or a match and uh, turn it on. This was the, uh, like we call it a generator. It, you put it up to light the lamp and then once it was lit, you would turn it down and it would take less fuel and burn cleaner. That's how that works. So, but we put all new windows in, so that's a new window. And this what this wall is different here. We put all sheetrock walls in here. Um, it was pine, but the fire was actually right up in this corner right here. The chimney went up through my room from like right here. The chimney went up this wall right here and exited. Matter of fact, look at that. There you can still see where the fire burnt the side of that log right there. Got clean up a little bit, but that's that's where you can see it. So, yep, this is my old room. Hi, Chloe. Hi. And yeah, it looks quite different up here than it did before. These were all um, pine walls. We put a bathroom in up here that we didn't have before, so there was no bathroom. This was just part of the uh, original uh, bedroom in this on this side. So, yep, a little bathroom. It is kind of small, but uh, it works. It's functional for up here. And then from this wall, this post right here, that way, over there, there was a, a room. There used to be a door here. Uh, but now we made that room smaller, and this is more of a sitting area. So that's kind of how it looks like up here. And heading back downstairs, we'll take a look into the master bath and bedroom that we finished for them. And here we got our washer and dryer that we put in for mom and it's still kind of a mess that is an old desk that this was always my drawer right here i always kept all my stuff in this drawer of course there's nothing in there now in my stuff here's an old bible highly his shrift that's an old bible let's look at that bible because that bible i think was given to like my dad or something when he was a son Aura Miller from Parents, Nathaniel and Elizabeth Miller, 1957. Look at that. This Bible was given to my dad from his parents, Nathaniel and Elizabeth Miller. Now, we actually named our son <clears throat> Wyatt Nathaniel in honor of my grandfather in 1957. Isn't that cool? Dad would have been, uh, he was born in 34, so he would have been 23 years old when they gave this Bible to him. So yeah, this Bible is always in our house. It's all written in high German and uh, pretty neat. I can still read that actually. I have a Bible that, that has that in it. And so I, I still read that to keep up on it. And yeah, so many memories. I just look at everything. Here's my sister-in-law, Lloyd's wife, that passed away actually one year ago in November 7th, 2019. She passed away from cancer leaving nine children, the youngest one still at home. So yeah, a lot of memories. Wow, just look at all these books. I could tell you stories and stories about these books. This book right here, The Martyr's Mirror, is a book that is in many Amish families' homes. And this book tells a story of many martyrs that died uh, in uh, just during the last, you know, several thousand years. Um, just trying to see it. There's a lot of Anabaptist stories in here. I would go in here. Actually, it's got a lot of good reading. Uh, there's some pictures in here. I was going to show you a picture real quick. Okay, this is a story of Jacob Dirks burned along with his sons in Antwerp, Germany. Let's see if we can see it better here. In AD 1568. And this tells the story of Jacob Dirks with his two sons. Andreas Jacobs and Jan Jacobs, and it tells the story. This book is completely full of stories about people that gave their lives for the, the sake of Christ, which is amazing. People in this today are still doing that as well. Childcraft books, Bible story books I grew up on. Yeah, just a lot of interesting stuff. Here's an old book. Now, I don't even know about what this book is. I don't recognize this book. This is an old, old book of some sort. 
I'll have to look at that. That looks interesting. I don't recognize that book. It it says uh, Das. Uh, it's a Bible of some sort. I'll have to ask Dad about that. I'm not sure about that old book. So, anyways, we got Mama washer and dryer. It looks like we're cleaning some of her things. So let's go check out the bathroom. Here we go. <laughs> So we're walking here through the kitchen. So here we're going into the bathroom right here. This is the master bath. And let's see, turn off all the lights on. And this was part of their pantry. So this bathroom was really small. And we took, there was a wall in here that went across here with a door out there. And this was their pantry. Now what we did is we removed that door and put just a standalone pantry there for them. So now they have a bigger bathroom. And uh, we put a walk-in tub for dad and mom so that's easier for them to get in and out of. They can sit down and take a bath, a really deep bath. Now this is an old medicine cabinet that as long as I remember was in our house. It's incredible. I, I have to ask dad where this medicine cabinet came from, but this was always where we went to get our band-aids and toothbrushes and everything everything so yep okay going from the bathroom into the bedroom oh here is mom's quilt that she's quilting let's take a look if we can oh look at that so this is a hand stitch quilt that mom is doing and it was set up but because everybody's here working they moved it in here for tonight and uh old dressers i mean look at this antique stuff isn't that cool um there's an old dresser as long as i can remember this was dad and mom's old dresser with the old key locks pretty neat yep wow just uh lots of memories in here this house what is home without a mother not much is it So anything you want to say, Dad, about anything? Well, I'm just so thankful yeah. for being in my house again. Yeah, yes. Can't believe it. Can't believe we're actually in here and enjoying the the new uh, refurbished, remodeled, and all the rest, the whole ball of wax. I'm just, just again, appreciate it. You know, can't be thankful enough for that, to be back in the old house. Awesome. Mom, do you have anything you want to say? Anything you want to say? Say hi to the Montana Haven family. Say hi to the Montana Haven family. All right. My mom, mom and dad are both 86, right? You're 86? Yep. Okay. So there you go. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Montana Haven. I hope you enjoyed it. I realize it's messy around here, but because everybody's here, it's a big family, and that's what it's all about. Better to be messy and have a happy family, right, than have a clean house and a grouchy family. So thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. God bless you.